This is Eric, your Lord High Admiral in the Army of Jimmedism, and you are very welcome back to the AOG Constabulary. So, let's check out what has happened since last time, or, well, we're going to cover the building process step by step, because I, of course, have been building in secret. We're building this uh, for Admiral Scooby Rocks, and we will also be thanking our other commissioned officers from Lieutenant and above, which is Commodore Owen, Lieutenant Ant, or uh, Lieutenant Cravey, Parba Greed, and Vincent Veritas. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. In any case, today we're going to build on the Sheriff Deputy, the Alpha Striker we covered in the introductory, introductory uh, fleet outline video, basically the first episode. So let's check that out. And here we are where we left off. This is the early shell of the Sheriff Deputy. The Sheriff Deputy was supposed to be a medium vessel, but uh, <laughs> it's um, looking more like a large vessel. And as I said, it's gonna be an Alpha Striker. It has a combined charge plasma. So we basically have huge just so many charges of plasma that we can put out here right now it's 914 charges with of course the slowest reload time possible we're putting all our resources in having a charged up super big storage of plasma charges to go with that we're having a charged laser and even though we have fire <laughs> now with lasers uh, in alpha, which we're playing, uh, we don't really need to have charged lasers anymore because they are doing a pretty good job anyways, but it's not wrong having a charged fire, uh, charged laser. Then we can really drill hole inside the enemy and possibly start fires there. Maybe in the fuel sections altogether. Very nice. In any case, uh, this is the hull we looked at last time so it's not nothing it's like it's like it's nothing new it's just it's just the hull so we're just covering uh, what we already looked at before because it was many episodes ago uh, to go with that we also have a nice couple of diff guns here uh, these diff guns have a ammo piece set up already it's an armor piercing secondary heat so it will penetrate the first layer and then provide a heat charge we can, which can do devastating damage. Here you can see I really uh, went hard on the decos for these guns because I wanted them to look very cool. Well, in the case we should be moving on to the next iteration. So, the Sheriff Deputy is an Alpha Striker. It's of course going to be an airship as well. Um, it's going to point towards the enemy and just unload. Uh, but to have some type of anti-aircraft defenses, we're adding a bottom-mounted, continuously firing uh, generator-based uh, plasma cannon. So we're gonna have that there. And you can see here, we have filled in a lot of the spaces here with our Slim Jim engines. So we are having some base uh, energy production because of course, even though we have a charge laser, we do require a good bit of uh, engine power to keep this system running. Uh, to go with this, if we are there to do like this, I don't know. <laughs> uh, to go with this, we're having a custom jet engine. And this custom jet engine needs to have some airspaces, which you can see <laughs> is integrated into the design. Now, actually, I noticed that you can see these intakes. I didn't know that before. I don't know if that's a new update, but you can see it says no clearance. So you actually need to make sure that the air intake add-ons also have a free space forward. Otherwise, you, they don't get clearance and they basically do nothing. Uh, but that's something that will be fixed on a later iteration. But I just wanted to mention that before I forget it. Now, uh, due to the introduction of fire... Uh, man, look at this of 8,000 8, with 20 intensity if this gets destroyed. So if we just if we just move back there, let's just let's just destroy this, right? We, and we can just see 
what happens when this gets destroyed. Like, <laughs> I think this part of the craft will be fairly well uh, protected, so it might not be an issue, but it's possible that we need to move these uh, fuel tanks in a future iteration. I will see, because this is still one of the safest places they can be on, but if they ignite, you can see we're having a pretty bad time. I mean, the laser system starts burning. Oh, well, not more than that. It feels kind of like fuel tanks are more volatile than uh, uh, than ammo boxes. And something I forgot to mention uh, in my little fire and incendiary uh, update video is that uh, fuels burn, like uh, fires burn quicker uh, if we have high speed. And this uh, craft is going to have pretty high speeds. Anyways, I think it's time to go to look at the next iteration. Here you can see a little test version that is just added a lot of ugly thrusters to kind of test its capabilities a little bit. So you can see this thing is kind of charged up. I believe the laser is kind of charged up too. So we're having a temporary AI, just some batteries, just to keep us going and to be able to test this thing. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to test this iteration to just showcase the uh, capabilities against the eternal enemy, which is of course a marauder, if I can find one. There we have one. And here we can see the charge laser is burning through here and the charge plasma is just completely obliterating this marauder. You can see how quick that was. So of course um, a marauder isn't very like expensive and this one is already at like 300,000 materials. Uh, and of course it's gonna take forever for it to reload. But let's spawn a crossbones, yeah? All right. So a crossbones has been spawned and I took the liberty of sp running the game at the slowest speed possible. So here we can really see the charge laser. Now we're pretty far away, we are probably going to go closer before we are activating the charge laser in a real battle, battle scenario. This is just to test. You can see it passes all over the place. And I do believe here comes our first big plasma charge. This is of course a pretty quick one. And here we can see it deals a good bit of plasma damage there. Progressing the damage there and it's of course doing better against the densely armored targets. In any case, uh, the uh, diff guns also fired here. We're gonna go back to full speed, which is indeed full game speed, which is nice. We're continually to unload our big plasma balls and those lasers, especially this one that's uh, completely, uh, that still has some juice in it, is starting flames all over the place. So yeah, there we can see the power of a charge system. You can see some diff rods popping in there too, dealing a good bit of damage, crossbones down to uh, 83 percentages. And as long as this doesn't <laughs> crash into it, yeah, it can keep the distance. It's gonna be Pretty all right, just uh, hovering there and chilling about and uh, well now it's not getting very many angles. Well anyways, I just wanted to show you the reason why we are having an alpha strike vessel. With this we can actually punch above our fighting uh, range and since these are going to go close while the, while the sheriff stays at a distance, um, they will take some of the fire uh, and well mislead the enemy but also to provide some of those really strong alpha strikes to really drill a hole in very big and expensive ships. 
Well, anyways, let's let's check out the next iteration. Um, you can see this this the crossbones is slowly burning down. Isn't that nice? But I do think we have a little too little juice because yeah, our energy system isn't set up really, so I don't think it even can recharge on its own really right now. Here we have iteration number six. And for this, we are still having some temporary thrusters just to make it be able to go where it wants, but it doesn't have a AI routine, so that doesn't matter. I started to decorate this dual barrel with a charged laser and charged plasma here to kind of look a little bit cooler. Uh, the turret has gotten some um, armor around it, and we are starting to install some munition packages. Uh, this little well, th this is our Orion Combined Lightweight Tracker, which is built for fast airships to provide good, um, good detection and stuff. We might have it there, or maybe not. Uh, this is the AI core we decided for this vehicle, getting installed here on top of all of this entities here. It has two cores, um, as we can see here, and it just has everything we need. A really good thing from the uh, prefabs which all the commissioned officers in the army of Jimmyism have access to via Patreon. And I try to, up, I try to update it uh, whenever I added like new stuff with all my sub objects and prefabs. If you want that, um, you can have that. Well, for 99 cents is the lowest level and all the levels have access to it. Anyways, uh, I started decorating a little bit more all around here and I decided we're gonna have some wings on the side because I think that looks pretty cool and that's also something that the sheriff will have so I wanted them to kind of resonate that style. All right now we're going to look at the seventh iteration and here we have it. We've started to add a little bit more on the deck here now we accidentally sit in this chair and we started to shape the hull a little bit more. Uh, especially the front of the ship. You can see I really filled this section out here in front of the turret. We have a lot of wooden armor here because wood is a great um, health point sponge. Especially since the health of the wood has been boosted with a fire update. Because this is... Uh, I'm building an alpha. In any case... Uh, inside here we have some extra spaces for block. This is probably going to be where I keep some of the ammo boxes and possibly also some fuel boxes since they're pretty dangerous now. Nothing important sits here anyway, so you know, if it blows up it's no big deal. Inside of here I've hidden some large jet engines like this and I just hid them away here so they kind of look neat and nice and I really ended up liking this setup. I think it looks pretty cool. And the deck, of course, on top of here, this is, uh, we're going to have a deck reaching up to this point here. I think it looks best to have it like that. And we're having a lot of wood. We're, we're having, like, a lot of wood. It's, like, not solid wood, but almost. You can see these pillars here are vertical. And I just want everything of the internals here be protected by, by at least some wood. Um, this ship... This airship is of course not going to expect any enemies from above it. Uh, it will be a little bit be weak against bombers, but um, if your ship is good against everything, it's probably not really good at anything. So yeah, you'll have to accept where your ship will be weak. Kind of, you can intentionally build these weak points into the ship, just because if you don't have any weak points, you're probably trying to be too general and then your ship is not going to be like the best at anything. In any case, here we can see I built some of the front here, tried to add some really cool optics looking things uh, and stuff like that. But anyways, let's check out the 8th iteration. And here we can see that stuff is really starting to happen around it here. I added some steering in the front here, which looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, and having the same flush type of design. Now here we have a little bit of a hidden uh, pitch thruster. I started to add some ammo here. 
and because we're going to go pretty close range, I decided that having some revolving blast guns, I mean revolting blast guns, on the side here, just to smash into some crazy spam to the enemy side to really like weaken it overall. Could be pretty cool when our sheriff deputy is going up against a criminal battleship that needs some annihilation. It'd be nice to spread some lead all over. Help the fires, you know, which the laser will start. But in any case, uh, I really, I, I'm super happy about the wings here. I decided to add inside of here, we actually have custom jet engines. So one is facing backwards and one is facing, uh, well, one is facing backwards and one is facing forwards. And that is because I realized that to be able to kind of be very close to the enemy, we need to have really powerful backwards thrusters. If we don't have that, we're just absolutely super doomed. And I'm using the wings to add some different control units. You can see I have mimicked away these thrusters, but there are actually two down, two up, front, back. Looking pretty cool, just adding some tubing here to make it look pretty nice, I think. I just love the cram parts for building jet engines and stuff using that set of mimics. Also, I added some pretty cool controls here. You can see that with advanced control box, I am using the thrusters direction to help us steer and go into different directions. Uh, so even these ones here, the, the, uh, the downwards uh, thrusters do even point in different directions here to help us steer and help us uh, strafe and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. In any case, uh, we have built out and shaped out the hull a little bit more. And I, I decided to add a backwards jet engine here facing downwards because I wanted that our main lift should come at a little more efficient cost. So now we have a jet exhaust pointing downwards here and providing most of the lift, which I thought was a useful little addition. Uh, we haven't set up the maneuvers very well, but thanks to the just stock settings or whatever, it is airborne now and it's going fairly quick too. I don't, know. I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool, but you can see it's really using its thruster to a really inefficient way, but whatever. All right, so iteration number nine. And here you can see that the ship is really taking shape here. The sheriff deputy has so many new details. Um, we of course built mostly on the uh, aesthetical part of it and we're going to add the functional parts later. And this is going to be the last iteration for uh, this video and I'll need to spend some more time on crafting this, what I hope <laughs> will be a real art piece or something like that. Hopefully uh, our admiral will be very happy. In any case, here you can see I added a ring outside here. I thought it looked a little bit more sturdy and integrated using this. Even though there are two separate charge systems, we have a charge plasma and a charge laser, um, I kind of wanted them to kind of-ish feel like the same spinal cannon, if you know what I mean. Uh, even though they are separate system, they, they have the same color uh, on the shot, so I wanted them to kind of feel like the same devastating force. Uh, I added some more decorations around the thrusters. You can see here, just this tiny little detail. I think it just looks a lot better having these parts going on here. As well as the little thrusters in the back. I'm gonna build them into the little, uh, I don't know, secondary vertical spinal uh, custom jet engine. That sounds fancy, Jiminism. That sounds real fancy. And I'm, I should stop calling myself Gmodism because I realized that Gmodism is a really stupid username. It's a great channel name because it's an ism, but it's a really stupid username. So I'm Eric, by the way. In any case, here we can see we added 
more details, uh, colored it all around like this, added some of these parts to the thrusters on the side here, just to make everything feel a little bit more integrated. Uh, I wanted to have a damaged turret on top of here, but I didn't want a big turret at the front, so I added the trident diff cannon, and I think it looks absolutely stunning on the hull here. So I'm, I'm happy to finally have used this uh, diff gun. I really like it, I just haven't used it before. I don't know where we're gonna have this cannon, but the 67mm gun here um, is uh, the, uh, you know, I think it's just so cool. I think I wanna have it on the back here sometime later. I don't know, mostly to look cool, but whatever. So yeah, we're gonna craft a lot more on this thing. Uh, I do think I don't know. I don't know how functional this thing is. I think it's uh, semi-functional You see I think it uh, gets out of ammunition really fast and energy But you can see the charge laser is probably mostly going through I, I think the first second is just going completely through <laughs> But it stays on top there launches some uh, armor piercing heat rounds. Those should be pretty dangerous to a smaller ship like this. And a larger ship, mostly a larger ship, but you can see the backwards ones are really helping it stay in the air like this. Yeah. And this thing is looking a tad bit sad. Well, I think that's pretty cool so far. And hopefully this is going to be an awesome little alpha striker, which is not so little. I realize this is more like a large craft by now, but at least it's going to have a pretty powerful system. So I'm excited to see this thing in action later, definitely. And with that, I will say thanks a lot for watching. You should definitely check out some of our other videos. The playlist of this little series is in the description if you haven't caught the other episodes. And always write in the comments of some ideas that you want me to make, videos you want me to make that you feel like you need, because I do know that a lot of tutorials are uh, in line to be produced and are being uh, requested too for things you want. So request some tutorials you feel uh, YouTube doesn't offer and I'll try to put them in the instant tutorial uh, to-do list. In any case, thanks a lot for watching, like the video, do subscribe to catch us, and remember that you can also be a commissioned officer in the army of Jimodism by joining at Patreon. If you just want to be in the army of Jimodism for free, you can self-assign Matrus 3rd class and we'll promote you uh, if you win some different challenges and stuff we set up. Right now we are of course doing, doing the trial season 1 and that's going to continue but more challenges like that and more will of course be coming in. So with that said, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. This is the Lord High Admiral Eric, and I'm signing out.